Boosted by his 20 paracetamol a day, Kifaru seems ready to mate. And Melindy's in season again. Each female's different, as we say. We've got some females who are super keen on, on the males and others that aren't so keen. Usually they'll just put them to the test for a bit before they give in and, you know, any mating happens. Good boy. Well, a female rhino, especially in the wild, or, you know, won't want to mate with just any the first male that comes along, you know. She'll want the fittest specimen you know, the biggest, strongest, um, to pass on the best genes to her calf. That's, that's the theory. But Melindy is still putting Kifaru through his paces. She's gonna basically make him work for her a little bit. It's just not interesting, is she? I think the only way you can win her over is the same technique Fari tries on all the ladies, which is just determination, and hopefully if he just keeps trying, he'll get there in the end. He's still got it in him. He still knows what he needs to do. It doesn't stop him in any way. I'm not sure, um, as far as rhinos go, that he's the best looking of fellas, but, um, you know, he's, he's got other things going for him. He's got persistence. Finally, for Melindy, the time is right. Just goes to show that age is just a number and it doesn't stop them and that you know, just because they're old doesn't mean they need to stop doing what they're doing. Three months from now, the zoo will know for sure if Melindy's pregnant, and the breeding programme of this rare species can claim another success. Can we learn anything from Kifaru? Oh, I don't know about that one. <laughs> Only 30. <laughs>